The other day I decided to make my own ingot molds. Previously, I had always had to remove the lid to the furnace in order to load ingots into the crucible. If I was able to fit a muffin ingot through the hole, it would then cannonball into the molten aluminum below, splashing onto the lid. Since the hole at the top of the furnace is approximately 2 and 3 eighths inches, the muffin ingots are frustratingly close to fitting, but most will not. I found that an ingot from a 2 inch steel angle mold would fit perfectly, and based on that I determined that in order to have an ingot that is about a pound, I would need a mold that is 8 inches long. Here you can see that I also intend to draft the sides of the mold in order to ensure an easy release of the ingots. So that's the plan. Here I am scrapping out some aluminum. Each set will represent a melt and a pour. While one mold cools, I will fill the other one. Once I'm ready to pour again, the first set should be cool enough to flip. If the measurements are correct, this means that I should be able to hold about six pounds of my melts with the new ingot molds. This is by far enough for normal casting and is about right for scrapping. But if I had to do it again, I'd probably make four bay molds. In this case, I'm probably leaving about two pounds of molten aluminum in the crucible to help with the melting process. This works well for me. The best part of these new ingots is how they stack. Here you can see that they end up right about at a pound. Oh, and by the way, they fit perfectly through the hole in the lid. <laughs> 